Centrifugation is a technique based on the behavior of particle when the particles are exposed to centrifugal force. Particles having higher density will sink or sediment whereas particles lighter than the solute will float on it. In a solution with a complex mixture of particles when it is allowed to stand still the particles will get separated on the basis of various parameters under the influence of gravity. The parameters are like density, molecular weight and size. More is the difference in the density, faster will be the separation. When there is no difference in the density, the separation will not occur and the particles will stand steady. We can take advantage of this difference in the density to separate out particles from a complex mixture. For this, we can replace this gravitational force with centrifugal force. As centrifugal force is powerful force than gravitational force, it will increase the sedimentation rate and it will result in faster uh, separation of particles from a complex mixture. In this module, centrifugation technique, we are going to cover topics like basics of sedimentation, types of centrifugation, preparative centrifugation, analytical centrifugation, type and designs of preparative rotors, separation methods in preparative centrifugation, separation methods in analytical centrifugation, centrifuge models and their uses as well as application of centrifugation. Introduction. Centrifugation is a technique based upon the behavior of particles in an applied centrifugal field. In a solution, particles whose density is higher than that of the solvent sink at the base or sediment and particles that are lighter than it float on the top. When solution of particles is allowed to stand, then the particles will tend to sediment according to various parameters. For example, molecular mass, shape and density under the influence of gravity. Greater the difference in the density, faster they move. If there is no difference in the density, that is isopicnic condition, the particles stay steady. To take advantage of difference in the density, to separate various particles in the solution, gravity can be replaced with much more powerful centrifugal force provided by centrifuge. During centrifugation, the force is applied in order to sediment the particles more rapidly. This force, that is centrifugation force, is greater than the gravitational force of earth. Thus, it increases rate of sedimentation. The particles are normally suspended in specific liquid medium held in a tube or bottles which are located in rotor. The rotor is positioned centrally on the shaft of a centrifuge. Particles differing in their size, density, shape can be separated as they sediment at different rates. Sedimentation rate is directly proportional to the applied centrifugal field. Basics of sedimentation. The rate of sedimentation depends upon applied centrifugal field being directed radially outwards. It is determined by square of angular velocity of rotor and the radial distance from the axis of rotation. Effective radial dimension of a given particle will change according to its position in the sample and will vary between our minimum and our maximum that is minimum radius and maximum radius. Particles away from the central axis of rotation will experience a greater field. The relative centrifugal field is calculated from average radius of rotation of a column of liquid in a tube. That is the distance from the center of rotation to the middle of the liquid column in the centrifugation tube. In partially filled container of swinging bucket and fixed angle rotor, the R minimum is effectively increased and therefore particle will have reduced path length to travel. Hence, quicker will be the sedimentation. Centrifugal techniques are of two types, preparative centrifugation technique and analytical centrifugation technique. 
In analytical centrifugation technique, it concerns with the study of sedimentation characteristics of biological macromolecules and molecular structures. It is devoted to study the pure macromolecules or particles. Preparative centrifugation technique concerns with the actual separation, isolation, purification. For example, whole blood cells, subcellular organelles, plasma membranes, polysomes, ribosomes, chromatin, nucleic acid, lipoproteins and viruses. Preparative centrifugation is of two types, differential centrifugation and density gradient centrifugation. In density gradient centrifugation again, there are two types, rate zonal and isopicnic. Preparative centrifugation techniques, it is concerned with the actual separation, isolation, purification of various components. This is most commonly used technique. Preparative centrifuge is capable of spinning rotors to maximum speed of 80,000 revolution per minute. Rotor chamber is refrigerated, sealed and evacuated to minimize any excessive pressure. Sophisticated temperature monitoring system is used than the simpler instruments. Overspeed control system is provided. They are provided with the flexible drive shafts to avoid imbalance and vibrations due to uneven loading of samples. It is applicable for macromolecules, ligand binding, kinetics, steroid hormone receptor assays, separation of major protein fractions from plasma, depolarization of physiological fluids and for amino acid analysis. Analytical centrifugation technique. It is concerned study of sedimentation characteristics of biological molecules and molecular structures. It is devoted to study the pure macromolecules or particles. It requires small amount of material and utilizes specially designed rotors and detector systems to continuously monitor the process of separation. It is used to deduce the purity and relative molecular mass and shape of the material. Analytical centrifuge is capable of speed approaching 70,000 revolution per minute and it spins the rotor at an accurately controlled speed and temperature. It is evacuated, provided with protective chamber, refrigeration and optical system to observe sedimentation material throughout the duration of centrifugation. In this method, the concentration distribution of the sample is determined at the known times using absorbance measurements. Application It is used to determine purity of macromolecules, relative molecular mass of solute, change in the relative molecular mass of supermolecule complexes, conformational change of protein structures and to determine ligand binding study, types and design of preparative rotors. Rotors used in the lower speed centrifugation experience lower degree of stress as compared to high speed rotors and can be made from brass, steel or perspex. High speed centrifugation necessitates the use of aluminium or titanium alloy. All the rotors are given durable protective layering to reduce chemical reaction and corrosion due to the solute. Swinging bucket rotors. It has bucket that starts off in a vertical position but during the acceleration it swings out to horizontal position. Hence the solution of the tube is perpendicular to the axis of rotation and parallel to the applied centrifugal force tube returns to its original position during deceleration. Particles in the centrifugal field fan out radially from the center of rotation rather than sedimenting in parallel lines. Undesirable swinging effect that causes maximum effect of tube contents are produced during rotor acceleration and 
deceleration fixed angle rotors the tubes are located in the holes in the rotor body set at fixed angle between between 14 degrees to 40 degrees to the vertical centrifugal force is exerted at an angle to the tube wall particles move radially outward and have short distance to travel before precipitating on the outer wall of centrifugation tube sample collection is rapid due to short traveling distance the precipitate is collected as a small compact pellet at the outermost point of the tube it is proved valuable for differential centrifugation and can separate the particles differing significantly in their sedimentation rate vertical tube rotors tubes are aligned vertically in the body of rotors at all the times it can be regarded as zero angle fixed angle rotor solution in the tube reorients through 90 degrees during the rotor acceleration to lie perpendicular to the axis of rotation and parallel to the applied centrifugal force it returns to original position when rotor is decelerated since the sedimentation of particles occur across the diameter of the tube Vertical rotor presents shortest possible path length. Thus, sedimentation occurs very quickly as compared to previously described types. Pellet formed is deposited along the length of the outer wall of centrifuge tube, which is a disadvantage as it falls back into the solution at the end of the centrifugation. Zonal rotors. Zonal rotors may be of the bench or continuous type former type is used extensively it is designed to minimize the wall effect and to increase the sample size body of a typical bench type rotor is large cylindrical container rotor is filled with density gradient and accelerated the layers reorient under centrifugal force and become vertical at sufficient rotor speed particles now separate through gradient with rotor at speed during deceleration layers containing separated particles reorients at rest rotor contents are displaced and various zones are recovered separation method in preparative centrifuge in this there are two types differential centrifugation and density gradient centrifugation differential centrifugation Differential centrifugation is based upon differences in the sedimentation rate of particles of different size and density. In differential centrifugation, material to be separated, for example tissue homogenate, is divided centrifugally into number of fractions by stepwise increasing centrifugal field. A scheme for fractionation of rat liver homogenate is given in a figure. Centrifugal field at each time is chosen so that particular type of material sediments centrifugation will initially sediment the larger particle at the end of each step the pellet and the supernatant is separated to reduce cross contamination and to improve particle separation the pellet is resuspended in a solute and recentrifuged Further separation of homogenate is done by centrifuge of supernatant at increased centrifugation speed. For particles with same mass but different density, high density particles will sediment at faster rate than the less dense particles. Most of subcellular organelles can usually be separated by differential centrifugation or zonal method provided there is about tenfold difference in their mass density gradient centrifugation there are two methods in density gradient centrifugation rate zonal centrifugation and isopicnic centrifugation technique both can be used for quantitative studies of all the components of a mixture that is to determine buoyant density and to estimate the sedimentation coefficient rate zonal centrifugation this technique involves 
careful layering of sample on the top of the liquid density gradient whose highest density is not more than the most dense particle to be separated. Such gradient improves the resolution for separation of particles. The sample is centrifuged until desired degree of separation is achieved. That is, for sufficient time, particles need to travel through the gradient. The particles are separated based upon the differences in size, shape and density of particles, density and viscosity of the medium and centrifugal field. This technique is also used to separate enzymes, hormones, DNA-RNA hybrids, ribosomal subunits, etc. It can separate proteins with similar density and different molecular mass easily. It cannot separate subcellular organelles, for example, mitochondria, lysosome and peroxisomes which have different densities but similar size. Isopicnic or isodensity or equal density technique. It depends totally upon the buoyant density of particle and not on its shape and size. It is independent of time, size of particle. In this, the particles are distributed homogeneously throughout the tube prior to the centrifugation. During the centrifugation, the gradient is allowed to establish itself. Sample particle distribute and create a band in a series of zone at their respective isopicnic position. Sedimentation occurs when buoyant density of the particle equals the density of gradient. This technique suffers from disadvantages of very long centrifugation time. This technique is used to separate and purify linear and circular forms of DNA. Separation can be improved by increasing density differences in different forms of DNA by incorporation of heavy isotopes, for example, 15N. It is used to separate and purify viruses and analyze human plasma lipoproteins. Analytical centrifugation. Particle in the analytical centrifuge can be measured very accurately by using light absorption. Rayleigh inference optics information can be processed to provide quantitative analysis of macromolecules in terms of their shape and physical size in the solution. Centrifuge models and their uses. Small bench centrifuge. This is simple and least expensive method and exists in many designs. They generally have maximum speed of 4000 to 6000 revolution per minute. It is extremely useful in collecting small amount of sample sedimenting quickly, for example, yeast cells, erythrocytes, coarse particles, etc. Refrigerated centrifuge with large capacity. It has maximum speed of 6000 revolution per minute and has refrigerated rotor chamber. In this centrifuge, the centrifuge tubes and their content should be balanced and the rotor must not be loaded with odd number of samples. High speed refrigerated centrifuge. These are available with maximum rotor speed in the region of 25,000 revolution per minute. This is useful in the collection of microorganisms, cell debris, large cellular organelles, etc. It can be used in protein precipitation by ammonium sulfate method. It cannot effectively sediment viruses and smaller organelles like ribosomes. Continuous flow centrifuge. This is relatively simple high speed centrifuge. The rotor flows continuously. It is long, tubular, non-interchangeable. The rotor rotates continuously, medium enters through the rotating rotor and then the particles are sedimented against its walls. An excess clarified medium overflows through an outlet port. Application It is used in harvesting bacteria or yeast from large volumes of cultures. It is used extensively in automotive 
industries, engineering related works, metal working industries, oil field industries, power plants, shipping industry, rolling mills of steel and oil and gas industries etc. Application of centrifugation. Centrifugation technique can be used during separation of biomolecules, purification of cells for example mammalian cells, separation of subcellular organelles, fractionation of membrane vesicles, molecule identification, large industrial centrifuge is used in oil industry to remove solid from drilling fluids and in molecular biology it is extensively used tool.